what are you doing? And that's because I didn't really know the business side. But I started learning. I kept goals and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to come here and do what I got to do. So da, da, da. Now, I don't care what nobody say because, like I said, I wasn't seeing no numbers on that website. The first month, start making that effort to have that life that you don't have. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Candela Simone. If you are new here, what's up? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the fam. So y'all, today's video, we have some things to get into. So we're going to have to get straight into this video because we don't have no time to waste, okay? Period. Today's video is going to be basically about my business journey and things that I have learned and everything that I have experienced up until now this point and I also am going to share some advice and some tips on how I started bringing in sales I started from literally nobody like never hitting that book button never hitting that let me schedule you girl like I had zero zero clients okay and I'm gonna tell y'all how I turned that around around okay so stay tuned I'm gonna start off by telling y'all who I am what I do and kind of how I got started because I know how I'm, I'm a storyteller like I will go everywhere like I'll start telling a different story inside of a story so let me just have a plan okay let me before I get into this so y'all for those of you who do not know I am Kimbella Simone I am the owner of Kimbella Beauty which is a makeup service that um, specializes in soft glams. So you guys can follow me on my Instagram page at Kimbella Beauty if you want to see my works. And if you stay in Fayetteville, Georgia, go ahead and book with your girl for your next event and get your glam, and get your lashes and get your makeup done by me. A lot of people do know that I do makeup, but I actually am very versatile and I do other things. I'm also a dance coach of a major in jazz elite composition team called Ballerette, so follow us on our Instagram. Um, it's gonna be linked in the bio and like right here before I go. I mean, before you know, we move on. In this video, I'm going to specifically focus on Cambella Beauty's journey and kind of like how I got where I am today. I am very grateful for where I am today. I know I have a lot of work that I st that still needs to be done, and I'm okay with that. And I'm just ready to just keep going, keep grinding because I feel like. I really want to inspire and motivate people and you know I feel like I have definitely have a story to tell and honestly I struggle with how I how I tell it but I feel like doing these videos showing myself putting myself out there kind of helps me and ease and causes um, calms me down because I definitely get anxiety I get nervous and I get like flustered and stuff like that and I just want to be able to be real and transparent because I remember starting like with nothing and now I'm really at a point where I still have a lot of work to do like I said but I am grateful to still even have what I have today from where I started so yeah so basically y'all if you do not know I don't want to confuse y'all so basically we have Cambella Couture and we have Cambella Beauty so if y'all want to know some people have some people know about one or the other or people know about both i don't want to be confusing because my website is called cambella couture so cambella couture is the boutique i started cambella beauty when i was a freshman in college and then i started cambella couture as a junior so i want y'all to kind of, i'm going to tell that story because it's a little confusing i was in high school i really was like starting to get into youtube and i was starting to get into like the beauty side of youtube because i was really into beauty and then i was getting inspired i was starting to do my own videos and all of that stuff so i was very proud of myself because it was something that i had always dreamed of and thought of doing so i just wanted to do it so from there when I got to college I really wanted I saw a lot of people like the city was different like back home it was very you know suburban and stuff and I did come from a predominantly white school so it definitely didn't have a lot of things of my culture and that I was into but when I got to college I really started to see like people was hustling and like making their own life for themselves and I was like I could do that same thing and that's why I was like, I'm going to start taking services. I'm going to start hitting people up on campus. I'm going to start making flyers. I'm going to start promoting my services. If I have the, I, I'm going to um put the picture up of the first flyer that I ever made for like starting my services. And 
if I can find that. But I just remember like, I was posting in group meets, you know, group meets in college, like that's how they, you know, was really big. So I was posting in class 22, which was my class. I was posting other classes. I was sharing with people, you know, I was on the dance team. I was, I was trying to let people know. But honestly, I was really more focused on having the business. I never really was pushing it the way I should have been. Like, you know what I mean? And I didn't learn that up until recently. So I'm going to get into that. So basically, I was feeling discouraged and I really wasn't getting no clients. So I started decreasing like how I was promoting it and I really wasn't into it how I was into it. So by the time that I really stopped doing it, COVID had hit and I was just like, I had to go back home. I didn't even have like no motion and let me tell y'all before COVID hit like a couple months before that my car had like just broke down I was leaving the dentist office and it just that thing just gone I don't even know what happened and then you know COVID came shortly and then I just felt like I had to move back home I was felt like stuck I didn't have no motion I have no go nothing going on I didn't you know what I'm saying have no transportation I just felt like I was all these other things that were stopping me from doing what I was doing. And I honestly felt like it wasn't until the pandemic happened that I had that I actually made a change. Cause I was seeing people who was, you know what I'm saying, had got these degrees and stuff and kind of losing these jobs. And I was like, I don't want to have my life determined by, you know, somebody else. I want to have control of my own stuff. And I really was, and I kind of got back into that mode why I went into Cambella Beauty in the first place, why I wanted to have a business. So I was like, let me stop playing. Like, I'm going to stop playing. Like, I didn't think about makeup services in the beauty business during COVID because it was like isolation and stuff. So I wasn't really thinking about being in people's faces and stuff. So I was like, what can I do that's in the now moment? stuff like that so i was like okay i can get a little bit of starter money like, you know what i if i could still do beauty i could just do the product side so i was like i was thinking about products so i was doing all this research i was trying to make a website i was watching videos i was doing all this stuff like really honing in really like focusing on me because i was like well isolation what else are you gonna do like what else could i do like i was doing classes online wasn't really doing too great in them really was like you know what i'm saying let me just figure out what it is that's gonna make me happy what it is that's gonna put me in a position where i want to be where I want to be, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be like this forever. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to make my own lip gloss. I'm going to start, you know, making my own stuff. So that's when I started making my own lip glosses, lip oils, lip scrubs. I even, when those started doing good, I even got me like, I started off with a couple of lashes. Like that was doing good. It was, you know what I'm saying? I de definitely had times where I wasn't getting no sales. And I was just kind of feel like at a stagnant, stagnant point because it didn't feel like it was growing. I felt like I was in and out in and out and i didn't really know how to promote it i found out all of these things like it felt like i literally like went through all these things to have the knowledge that i have today because i'm telling you like i i'm thinking about i'm like why did i even why was i even selling a lip oil just showing it by a tree like who gonna buy that what are you doing and that's because i didn't really know the business side but i started learning i really did start learning let me tell you before i even really was doing the little lip gloss i had started with drop shipping but that did not last long at all which is why i really didn't talk about it but i had did drop shipping didn't like that i was like i'm gonna do products stop selling purses in the little shoes because it really wasn't doing nothing i didn't really like drop shipping i didn't even have the products on hand and i was making a little bit of sales i was excited about the lip oils but it still wasn't like enough for me i was doing up until it was that point where it was like okay we're gonna you know it was time for school and they had actually let people come back but it was gonna be like restrictions because of we were still in the pandemic so i still wasn't taking clients i was doing my ra job and i was doing the products and stuff and i just got to a point where i was like you know i, I can't i don't want to do this no more like i'm tired of this like little ra job only paying me a stipend every month i'm getting a certain pound pay from this month i'm i'm a, a week or every two weeks or whatever and i'm just like i can't do this like it's just too much and i'm not really doing what i want to do and i was in all that time that like during that time i was really by myself like no relationships no nothing really just honing in and i really was like you know what <laughs> at this like i'm going to just start doing what i said i was going to do so i kind of put a pause to the products because what i did was i had moved to an apartment 
um, with a friend at the time and I started back and I told myself if I was going to do this apartment, if I was going to get this apartment, I said I was going to do my makeup services. So I, off the bat, I was promoting this stuff. I was getting ready. I had, you know, I was moving in and stuff and I had got my first client in my makeup. Well, I had got my first makeup client in my apartment on March 13th, I believe, because I went to my Instagram and it was March 13th. 2022 and uh let me i'm, I'm pull up the picture because it's on my instagram so follow me on cambello beauty and then you can scroll all the way down but i'm gonna show y'all the picture um but march 2022 is when i really started for real like i was like i'm not playing i was like sure i was putting my own makeup on putting videos on i was doing reels and i was i was getting people i was promoting inside the apartment building i was in because it was like a student living so i was um getting a couple people there here and there i was doing a group me still like it was still doing what it was doing and um i don't even know what happened y'all i just kept going kept doing clients kept getting clients um eventually i did not stay at the apartment however it was it kind it worked out um, before i say how it worked out let me show y'all this picture for real because i'm trying to scroll and it's taking two of them this was the first y'all don't even know but this was the first um makeup client that i had on, in my building well, if you want to go see on my page you can go see on my page but definitely came a long way from even that in the beginning so i'm definitely grateful oh i'm sorry i lied that picture was actually march 13 2021 so i really started like i really started taking Cambella beauty seriously in 2021 and that's when you know Camilla couture was kind of at a pause so it's march 2021 i was really starting to take it seriously i was doing all this all that when we got to january february of 2022 you know things had happened and i ended up leaving the apartment and i ended up moving back home i felt like it was a setback but i really didn't want to like look at it like that i also wanted to look at it what I wanted to look at is the opportunity to really focus on the things that I said I was going to do. Even though I was doing I feel like this kind of gave me more of a chance. But I was a little discouraged because I felt like I didn't have the same. I have to go find all new clients like back home and all this other stuff. But, you know, I didn't look at it like that. I kept goals and stuff. And I was like, you know, what? I'm going to come here and do what I got to do. So, da, da, da. so as I was doing that, everything was just starting to work out for me. So even before I went back home, I had I was in touch because my mom knew this lady who had this shop and they was actually looking for a makeup artist. So I was in touch with her. I would come with I would come up to the I would come down to the shop from you know the city from Atlanta. Do people makeup in there sometime before I was even in the shop. I, when I made the decision, I was like, you know, I'm just going. I'm this is gonna be good. And I had gotten the shop actually when I moved back home. So it's like when I transitioned back home, I was actually in a shop now. So that was like a blessing in disguise and then from there i was getting clients in the shop like every weekend i was still in school i was finishing up my last year because when i moved back it was spring i had springs so i had to finish up spring semester because it was march so i had i was i finished up spring semester then i had to do a summer semester and i had to do fall so that was a whole year basically spring i did have classes in person but after that summer and fall i didn't have any in-person classes and they were all online and then i was just like you know at home like kind of like on my side well not really in the city no more and then i was at the shop and then i would do the shop and then online class and then i eventually graduated and now um i am here today and i have clients and i'm doing very well i am very grateful for my journey i will say it hasn't been easy but i know everybody's journey is different and i'm glad that the choices that i made i know people close to me that i've experienced that kept them from you know achieving things um and not just saying kept them from but like it was kind of like hard to do with the situation so i'm just glad that i stayed true and stayed on my path and i didn't do it for anybody i did it for me because i know where i want to be and i'm still not where i want to be yet that's okay because I feel like e like every choice that I've made has been a decision that has put me in a better position and I've only gotten closer to God and I've been able to really just enjoy the journey. Like I feel like I've never enjoyed the journey as much as I'm enjoying it now. Like I've always questioned it. I've always just didn't understand why I had to go through all of this. All this stuff that I'm overcoming just shows like how strong I am. And you know, 
it's honestly you can think about it like this if you want to you know a lot of people if they don't you know have a relationship with you know a spiritual relationship with their god and whoever it may be when you don't have faith you know that there's honestly two struggles like you can either struggle without direction and knowing or you can struggle and but you're struggling to a better place and it's like you have two struggles like you can if you can either pick one it's going to be the one that leads you to the promised land or the one that's going to never satisfy you it's never going it's going to lead to settlement and 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 emptiness and i just feel like at the end of the day when you say god i want to be successful it's not about how much money you're going to make it's about it's like actually being the definition of being successful it's not just about monetary value it's about your core values your characteristics evil people who have money so that doesn't that doesn't determine anything money doesn't determine anything but you know your success and your character and your spiritual life do and i feel like that's so important important and on my personal business journey that's what i have learned like it was saying god i, I really want a successful business and he was like okay but like i gotta prepare you so it's like it's gotta take me through other things that are probably not even business related but it's like it's all gonna prepare me because it's like you can't just ask for something like that that's that's a big way to carry like you you know when these when people be like oh they making big like even when you hear you like oh that's a lot of money like you know what i'm saying or that's that's you know what I'm saying that's that's really big like they're known globally and stuff it's just like everybody had to have that that journey that got them there so i'm just i'm just grateful like i'm i'm definitely grateful i'm just learning to be present in the moment every day i really am so inspired and like i know this video is about me but like i'm just gonna say this right now there's this one youtuber her name is bougie barbie and like she is so inspirational to me like i really like don't even know what it is like i think i do know what it is because it's her drive it's her consistency it's just like how bad she wants and i feel like every day like i just really think about like you know if i really was doing like if i really had the type of like confidence and i say i don't have confidence but like the type of drive and just kind of like was pushing that into me like i would be so far ahead from where i am now and i'm just grateful to kind of like have her on this platform because i definitely listen to her and she's definitely an inspiration if you do not know her you need to go check out her youtube channel immediately because she is a boss period like and that's definitely the type of people that i want to be around and she's real like she's real and i can tell that and we both leo so i already know and you know i'm in atlanta and i i really <laughs> i mean i live in georgia and i'm near atlanta very close so i definitely want to me or something but you know i mean that is nothing to do with it but i'm just saying she definitely kind of gives me that motivation to kind of like really like be hungry i'm gonna put that out there because she buy but um yeah and just like things that i actually did like promoting wise to keep that motivation of knowing that i'm gonna get clients and getting those clients is that like i said I kept going like I just kept going I kept promoting and then eventually like I said I met that lady and then I was at the shop and then she she honestly a lot of my clients do are referred from her and I am grateful for that she brings me business and like you know what I'm saying and I still get money in my pocket and stuff like that and I you know what I'm saying like in you get what I'm saying I feel like God has definitely put like wonderful women and wonderful people in my path like to help me even with the ballerettes like i really wasn't even paying attention to kind of like because like i said i was getting clients back in my apartment but i wasn't paying attention to like how much i was making and stuff and then it wasn't until i got on this platform called style c and i was looking i remember like the first time I, I i remember like the first time i saw like the little feature and i went and i was like a thousand like i made a thousand on here and i was just thinking like so i've only been, been on style c for almost a year and like i remember like with the within the first couple like well, I don't even know what it, I don't even know if it was like the first month or whatever. It could have been the first month. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. I saw that. People might not think that's a lot, but I was, it was life changing for me because like, I never really kind of like paid attention to how much I was getting, how much I was making. And like the fact that I was generating that because people was booking with me. Like I remember when I was getting nothing, like, and even when I was doing the selling the lip gloss, nobody was buying nothing. Like I remember I even shut my website down because people was buying nothing. Like I recently just opened it 
to start letting people book me on my website. Now, I don't care what nobody say because like I said, I wasn't seeing no numbers on that website. The first month, this is from me just relaunching my website and telling people that you can book me now on my website. And people still book me on Stylesy. I've made $365 and that's a lot to me. <laughs> I would, remember, this last game on this. Remember, I was making zero. So the fact that I'm starting to generate income on my website that I was never getting before, that was closed and it was on pause for a long time. Let me just step back out and let me try it again. And I tried it again and people come to my website. I'm even, every time people will come to Style C for me, when we had that appointment, I'd be like, hey, so I'm used to, I'm starting to get um, more comes to my website. Like next time you book, hey, just book through my website, da, da, da. I always kept posting on Instagram. You have to keep posting. You cannot stop promoting. If you don't have no clients, whatever you're doing, whatever your product is or whatever your service is, if you, if you don't have no buy in, body buying it, you got to show people why you sell them. You got to use it on you. You got to use it yourself. You got to use it on yourself. You got to do it yourself. You got to show you using it before anybody going to buy it because like that's something I have to... I had to learn, and it's not you showing it. Don't nobody want, like I said, don't nobody want to see the little lip oil by the tree. Don't, mm -mm, don't nobody want to see it by the tree. Put it on. Show how it should get them lips glossed up. Show how I keep it moisturized. You know what I'm saying? Tell them the benefits. Like, you, I feel like I definitely had to, it wasn't just about selling a product or selling a service. I had to, on that business journey, when I was saying, God, I really want to be a successful business owner. He was like, okay, bet. So he made me learn every little aspect and I definitely did not know anything. And honestly, I probably would have majored in business if I would have known, but that I, this is something that I would have did. But honestly, I'm not mad because you don't have to major in business in order to have a business. You can, that's the thing. So, you know, I was very, 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 like even now thinking about it, I'm really like, dang, like in such a short amount of time, things have changed and I'm not even like, at my highest peak yet so i'm definitely very very grateful and i cannot wait to see what's in store for me i just say that whatever you're doing keep going you know what i'm saying you can't like not promote it because you, if you don't people's not gonna buy it, people's not gonna know it's there you just gotta think about it you gotta think about it and i feel like definitely find people who motivate you like i said i i told y'all who my person was when you find somebody who you're really inspired literally that's all you need literally because you're going to feel so motivated you're going to feel so your soul is going to feel so fed because of the things that they're telling you and their and their testimony that could be you one day you could be telling your story just like them and i just really want to be that person who is you know making a change i don't want to keep living this like life of lack i know there's more i've always had that feeling in my head that there's more out there that there's more to explore and i just really want to act on that i'm tired of sitting back and being in the back seat i'm about to take the driver's seat i'm about to take the wheel i'm about to press the gas no brakes all bullshit <laughs> so yeah and i love doing these youtube videos y'all like this is my first time doing like a real talk and i really well i did like a talk before it was like a girl talk but talking about my business journey and just like this stuff like this i definitely want to do more videos like this this was definitely really fun because i love talking especially about me girl but just giving advice too because i know how it is and i am just grateful to be here i'm grateful to be aware i'm grateful to have a business i'm grateful to be loved i'm grateful to have y'all i'm grateful to have viewers i'm grateful to have god i'm just grateful to have everything that i do have and you know i want to see people to see i want to pe see people win and stuff like that that's what keeps you going like i feel like i do know a lot of people who do struggle with you know not thinking that they are they have a purpose or whatever the case is and i just want to let people know like you have a purpose you have a reason you have to get up every day you have to go find it whether you making money or not you got to just act like you got to wake up and act like you know god is about to wake up and have a plan for you and you got to just trust him and i feel like i'm still getting into that so i ask that you take away from this video is to start now do you know start start making that effort to have that life that you don't have like start making that effort to have that life that you don't have like start making that effort to have that life that you don't have i'm gonna leave y'all with this okay <laughs> i'm gonna leave y'all with this okay dream so big that you can't imagine life without living your dream okay think about that 
And so while you think about that, I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Make sure I hit that subscribe button. Bye.